Hey guys, it's Jen. I wanted to come and do a quick haul video of some stuff I picked up. Um, this stuff's actually from, I think, two weekends ago now. Um, a local scrapbook store out in Westlake area, which is like 30, 45 minutes away from me, was having their um, garage sale that they normally do in the beginning of the year, and then they do one in the middle, or in the end of the year. So, I had went out there on a Sunday with a, a scrappy friend, co-worker, and we got there a little early, so we stopped at Michael's, because um, they don't open till 12 and I did find a few good deals, so I'll share the Michael stuff first. Um, <clears throat> I found the Sizzix die is, or framelits with stamps, and these were on clearance for $1.49. So this one is called Otter, so I picked this one up, and that's the stamp set and the die. And it says it's by Caitlin Lazardi, and this is um, called Flamingo. So that's the little stamp and the die. I picked up this chain Company's um, adhesive chipboards. This was like $1.49, and this I just thought would be cute in some layout or cards. But it basically says, like, I'm so fortunate to have you in my life, and you can spin this around. Um, you will always be mine. This says other half, or you can spin around to say something else. This says I miss you this much, and you can move the hand around to show, like, um, a little bit, you know, infinitely bunches, you know, stuff like that. And some other things. So I figured for $1.49 it was, you know, a good deal. Um, I also picked up this little Jolie's one. I thought that was cute for $1.49 on clearance. And then I found these two Tim Holtz Ideology from their Christmas collection. These were only $0.69. Cents, so I got this. This is the trimmings in the metallic ribbon. And then the decorative deer. I picked up this, um, their washi tape. This was $1.49. And it's like little beers. Since we have, um, I have pictures that I need to scrapbook from when we've gone to like microbrews and breweries and stuff like that. So I thought that'd be good. And then I couldn't pass this up. This was only 49 cents. And it has this cute little bear. And it says Seasons Greetings. And it has like the buffalo plaid. And then I found these Spellbinder styes. These were $1.79. And this is the Party Banners. So I thought that was a really good deal. Because I know you can't get that, you know, for that price at like Tuesday morning or anything like that. And then I did pick up this Standard Circles Large. Um, you know, this is just so versatile. So I got that, and that was only $6.99. And then the last few things from Michael's I did pick up was this Tim Holtz Correspondence um, paper pad. It was only $4.99, so I thought that was a really good deal. And this comes with 36 papers. And it's all, like, kind of vintage travel theme. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, for, you know, altered mixed media or, you know, even if I, uh, we travel anywhere for travel layouts and stuff like that. And I picked up some paper from their specialty collection. Um, these were only all 19 cents each, so I thought that was really good. So I got this. It's Glitter Pineapple. I got two sheets of this Glitter, um, like, Leopard or Zebra Print. Um, card. It's, like, really thick kind of cardboard paper. Two sheets of this is like kind of almost like a homemade -y kind of like really thin paper, but it's really pretty. And then two sheets of this one. It looks like kind of like bark, but it has glitter on it, so I thought that was really pretty. Maybe for some Christmassy or snowy kind of layouts if we go to the snow or something. And then got two sheets of this one. I thought this would be cool to like use to cut out, um, you know, some dye images from. And then I got these two sheets. I like the glittery chevron. And for 19 cents, you know, you really can't pass it up. And I only was able to find one sheet of this. This is like that kind of homemade paper, but I thought that was really pretty. Um, it's like a lavender color with a damasky kind of background. And then the last thing that I picked up were these two sheets of marble, um, pink marble like vellum. So I thought those are really pretty. So that's everything from Michaels. Um, so then from the actual scrapbook store, which is called Treasured Memories Out in, I think they call it Oak Park or Westlake. Um, I went there and I think in total I spent like 60 bucks and of that 60 I think there was like a little over 20 from the regular price store. Um, that's the actual store. So let me share that stuff first. So I got this. It's the cat sticker accents from Echo Park. And I thought these were adorable. So I got that. And these were only $2.59. So I thought it wasn't too bad. And then I did get, um, well, this piece of paper. 
Um, the paper is a little pricey to me. Um, it's like a dollar twenty or something a sheet. But these ones I, you know, absolutely loved and couldn't pass up. So of course all the cat ones I had to get because they're cats and I really needed, you know, I take so many pictures of them. So I need to do some of the layout for them. But I got this one it's from the Cat Cycle Park collection. I just thought this was adorable. And that is the back. And this one. I love all the new, like, um, you know, animal uh, pets kind of collections that these paper companies are coming out with. They did have a cute dog line too, but we don't have a dog yet because we don't have a house. Um, we rent and we're not allowed to have that, so one day. But this one, super cute. Um, I picked up this penguin one. It's called Chilling with the Penguins from Remnants. I just thought that was adorable. And that's the back. And then this is from Photoplay. This is from the Paper Crane collection. This is called Toy Pond, and I just thought that was gorgeous. And that's the back. I have to pick up two sheets of these because I have some um, when we've gone to sushi layouts I need to create. And I thought these would be fun to use. And then I actually love the back of this one. I should have got another sheet of this, but these are like the little Japanese um, girl dolls. Even though I don't know what I'd do with this back. Um, side necessarily, but it's just adorable. And then this is from the Chamille Box of Crayons collection. I thought that little cat with the glasses is adorable. I love the yellow background. And um, this is the back of that one. And I hope that this paper pad comes to Tuesday morning because I loved all like a lot of the you know papers on them. Um, you know, but obviously it's hard to adjust by paying a dollar something for each sheet of paper. Um, this one is the Watercolor Party Ellen Vive Paper Company, and this is called Watercolor Cocktails. I thought that was really gorgeous. I love the, how they have that, you know, back, watercolor background, and that's just plain. This is from Remnants. This is, um, called Cheers, so I got two sheets of that. And that is the back. This one also is from Remnants, called Beer. This one is called Cold One. The back. And then this line it had gorgeous, gorgeous papers. This is from Remnants and it is called Island Princess. This one is called Maui, but they had so many other papers that I wanted to buy. I only got these two sheets because I just couldn't pass it up and didn't want it like, you know, I don't know what I'm going to use it for at this moment, but um, I just wanted to hoard it kind of thing for when I do have the perfect layout to make. But I want to go back and get the other sheets that, you know, if anyone wants um, or needs to do island theme, check out this um, collection. They have gorgeous, gorgeous papers, and that's the back. And then this one, um, for when we went to Disneyland, I got is Once Upon a Time from Echo Park. I like the gold foiling on this, and that's the back. And then this one is Magic Castle from Scrapbook Customs, I guess. It's kind of like a chalkboard feel. So, um, that's that one. And that's the back. So I'm going to try to share what I can until my um, camera stops me and then I'll do probably a second halt part too. But I did find um, these iris cases. I only picked up two of them. They were only two bucks so I thought that was a really good deal. Um, they did have you know a lot more but that's all I picked up. <clears throat> and then I did find this EK Success little Jack Lantern Punch. I think this was only like two bucks or something like that so I couldn't pass that up. And then a lot of the things that I'm going to show now is like 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, stuff like that. So I found these Heidi Swap sequin shape hearts. I think these were only like 20 cents. These Heidi Swap destination pennants. These were only 10 cents. Um, these London Market Refines and Curiosities chipboard buttons. These were also only 10 cents. I picked up these Snap Life documents. They are the designer washi paper tape. These were like 50 cents. And then these Studio Calico journal cards, which look like that. These, I think, were 20 cents. And then these Heidi Swap stickers, these were only 10 cents. Um, these were Marks for American Crafts stickers, were only 10 cents. And then I got these cute little cat stickers at Christmassy. Um, these were only 10 cents. These Heidi Swap trimmings, these were only 20 cents. These are Teresa Collins Fabrications. They're like chipboard stickers. I believe these were only 20 cents. Then I may have to come back and do a part two since I'm running out of time on this. So I'll see you guys.